Hi marketers, welcome back. In today's video, we are gonna walk through a complete tutorial where I will show you how you can set up your Google Workspace. G Suite has a really great collaboration tool that you can use to manage all the communication within one single interface. When it comes to pricing, over here, you can see that it starts from 7.80 CAD per month to 23.40 cat per month when you scroll through it you can take a look at all the different features that will be offered in the plan that you choose the best thing is that every plan would include gmail drive meet calendar chat jambo document sheets in my experience these are one of the most essentials that you need to have to conduct your business in the most effective manner so for the purpose of this video we are going to go for our business data pack which is costing at 7.80 cat per month and i'm gonna click get started over here and the first thing you need to do is give your business a name so just for the sake of this tutorial we're gonna call this who and over here you have to select the num number of employees who'll be using this workspace so i'll just put that as two to nine for now and then you can select your region i'll select canada and i'll click next and over here, you got to enter your first name, your last name and your current email address. So then you need to have a domain, which would be your company's name. So let's say it could be anything like woo.com, woo.ca. And that is very important to have. So you can set up your email and the Google workspace. So if you already have one, you can click over here. If you don't have it, I'm just going to click no, I need one. And then just search for a domain name. So I'm just going to put that as woo.org. And Google is going to show me all the available domain that we currently have. And also you can see their prices reflected over here. So let's say we really like this one. So I'm going to click select. And what's going to happen is that this domain will be used to create your email addresses. So it should look something like sales at wop.org and then you can sign in and access all the different applications once you create a google workspace account you can go ahead and purchase this domain or the second way to do that is to use a domain that you already have so i'm gonna click i want to use a domain i already own and over here you have to enter the name of your existing domain so i'm gonna put this as woosocial.ca and i'm gonna click next so we're going to use this domain to set up our Google workspace and I already purchased this domain from godaddy.com and if you don't know what godaddy is, it is a great platform for you to get access to millions of domains that you can use for your website. So this looks good to me, so I'll click next and over here you have to enter your username that you're going to use to sign into your Google workspace account and also create the business email address. So I'll put this as info. And over here, you can see that our username says info at woosocial.ca. So every time I want to log into my Google Workspace account, I'm going to use this username. And over here, you can set up your password as well. And I'll click agree and continue. And here you can review your payment plan. So currently we're going for flexible plan. And the good thing is that you can actually go ahead and try the workspace uh, at no charge for 14 days. So that is really, really amazing. I'm going to click next. And once you make the payment, you'll come to this page. And as you can see that our Google Workspace account has been created. So I'm going to click continue to set up. And over here, I'll just go through the terms of service and I'll click I understand. And then you're going to come to this page. So first thing I'm going to do is activate my Gmail for this domain. So I'm going to click activate. And essentially, my domain was built on GoDaddy, as you can see. So I just have to click sign in to my GoDaddy account so I can activate this and then i'll click connect so our email has been set up which is amazing the next step would be to add users to your team so i'm going to click create and this is where you can add uh, any of your team members who also would have an account for their specific name so if you have multiple people in your sales team they would each have their name at uh, your company's name.com if you know what i mean so we're going to add some team members so i'll click continue and I'm going to click and add another user. So over here, you can add their first name, last name, your email username and the LES. So for the email username, let's say if I have a team member working under me uh, who is known as Matt and I want all the emails associated with him to reach to this inbox. So I'll put that as Matt at woosocial.ca. So every time there's an email sent out, he will receive it. And I'm going to click save user and I'm going to click continue. Similarly, you can go in, add users to your account. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this dots over here and essentially you can get access to different different applications so i'm gonna click my account icon over here and i'm gonna go to the personal info tab and over here i can make changes to my profile picture i can add my birthday over here as well so now you can click these four dots and i'm gonna click gmail and i'm gonna come to my inbox and the good thing is that this literally looks exactly like your regular gmail inbox which is amazing so it makes it very quick for you to learn and how to navigate around it so over here first thing we have is customize your inbox section and when you click that you can play around with the layout structure of your inbox if you want it to look like default comfortable compact you can go and select all of that you can also decide the different themes you want your inbox to have by playing around with it i'm just going to set it in a lavender theme like so and you can always go in under the settings tab over here and make some changes to your inbox, how it looks like, uh, how you want your reading pane to show and little details like that. The next thing which is very important to do is set your company's signature. So I'm going to click set a signature and then over here you have to scroll down and you're going to come to the signature tab over here and you can click create new and give this a name so i'll put this as sign one i'll click create and over here you can paste your signature so i have pasted my signature over here and i've done a separate video where i show you guys how to create a custom signature like this and paste it in your inbox so definitely check that out and i am gonna click save for now and what's gonna happen is that every time i'm sending out an email my signature will be reflected on the bottom section of this email i'm going to show you that in a second but before that i want to quickly jump into vacation responder so let's say if you are going on a vacation from a certain date so you can set that automatic respond in your workspace so i'm going to click first of all vacation responder on and i'm going to set a date so let's say i'm out from 23rd and my last day is 24th and over here i can add a subject like out of the office i can also add a text that says hi i am currently out of office so what's going to happen is that every time somebody is sending me a message uh anywhere from january 23rd to 24th they'll receive an automatic respond into their inbox and yeah of course this is not a really good format for writing your text you can be as descriptive as you want but i just wanted to show you guys a quick way on how to work around it so if this looks good to you i'll click save also you can check out the other settings that they have where you can make changes to your inbox the way you like it so one thing i really like to have is grammar suggestions on so that ensures that all all the email as i am sending out are very professional they should also have spelling suggestions on autocorrect i would like to keep it on as well if there are any uh, suggestions for how i am writing i would like to keep that on as well personalization i like to keep that on as well uh, we also have desktop notifications um, so every time you receive an uh, email and if you want uh, in your inbox to prompt you about that you can click new notifications on and you can also go in over here and select the sound for all the notifications so we have the welcome sound over here which i personally like a lot so i'll leave it like that so now you can use this inbox to send messages to your leads to your clients to your colleagues as well you can click compose uh, in the to section add their email address add a subject line and your text over here and just simply send it and if you want your uh, signature that we just created to be prompt you can go over here under insert signature tab and you can click sign one and as you can see our email is reflected on this section nice and easy the good thing is that you also have access to new chat so over here you can start a chat with any person who is working in your team so if you want to reach out to them and ask them a quick question you can do that you can also start a group conversation, add different people into your team, or you can create a different space. So space is a great way to keep all the communication about a certain topic streamlined. And I'll make this space access to anybody who works in this company. And I'm going to click create. And under the spaces tab, I can see skincare clients and I can add 
different people into this space you can also assign task over here and share a certain file so that way everything stays organized in one particular space and if you want to have any conversations among your uh, colleagues about the client that you're working on it's all in this one interface so really nice way to keep everything organized we also have a google meet tab over here so if you want to hop on a quick call with your leads or your colleagues you can click the meet icon over here you can click new meeting and then send the invite to your team members the next thing i want to show you guys is the drive tool so with the current uh tab that i have i do get 30 gb of storage space so that is amazing and drive is really important to organize all your documents and files in this one interface so if you want to upload a file you can click new uh, you can select file upload and if there is any document you can upload it from your computer so there we go we have our first file over here now let's say if you want to create a separate document uh, you can click new you can click google docs and click blank document and anything related to work or any briefing that you're doing you can put all the information over here and it will stay on your drive the other thing i want to show you guys is google sheets which is basically a google version of excel so that way you can access all your data numbers and any sort of documents that need excel sheet in this one interface we also have google slides where you can create presentations for your clients your colleagues in this one interface we also have google forms so if you are conducting a survey in your company you can go in over here make changes and customize the form based on your requirements when you click more icon over here you also get access to various other google applications that you can use based on your requirements but from my experience the most uh, amount of apps that you will be using on your day-to-day -day basis would be google docs sheets and slides and also your inbox so i really like google workspace i highly recommend you to check it out i hope you guys found this video helpful uh, if you do please don't forget to hit the like comment and subscribe and i shall see you guys in my next one till then take care bye now